the darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar. But I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run. Okay, it uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Go on the three. One. Two. Three. Go! <laughs> That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. We need your shower. Get to the shelter. Oh god, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That was close. It was, wasn't it? What's that? This again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I, I didn't even run! And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. On. Vaughn! 
Dear, I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here, and you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <clears throat> Is this about Athena? You're feeling this guilty. This wouldn't hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. <gasps> Enough about yeah. Athena. Yeah. Let's talk about what you and your friends... Hey, hey what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. I will remember this. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, uh, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <gasps> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Uh, or do you think we should negotiate more? Uh, hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Uh, somebody take this out! Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! Stop! Yes! Whatever you want! Please, just... Just leave them alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. It's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're going to figure out how to pull this off. 
Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Hey, come well, on, come on. Just this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. Okay? We'll Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you start being so negative, maybe we could. How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll song. teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you Look got the magic, kid. They should bottle just the so stuff. Many things Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill you down do on every aspect I hope of the you, mission. You help me, but your so constant shit talking is not helping anybody. I'm not the one forcing us to go on a suicide mission. Oh, Reezy, you see, you just so sadly mistaken. Great. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid little tiny wallet head. The reality is that it's we don't a, have a choice. Wallet you know, head. Kind of I like that. Wallet head, head, wallet head. You don't think That's I know that? Then maybe try coming up with a few solutions. All right, like I know we've okay, had our differences. We and I'll admit I can get you know pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. Fine, but what's your solution? To maximize our chances, uh, I'm ready know, to bury the hatchet. But I know right. we have to do this one way or another. It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now! Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how! That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Bill. I get that you're scared. Okay, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, the Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This 
way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. I'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom, what do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Okay, I admit it. Pandora got to me. This last week has been a little stressful. <laughs> oh, that's nothing compared to what a mission to Helios will be like. Well, at least on Helios, I know what to expect. This place is a nightmare. Being around you is a nightmare. All right, Valerie signed up on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. You come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, I'm not like you're a fast woman or Oh, hey, so, uh, mm, we lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh, no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I know you wasn't racers, but you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them. And I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. Is, no, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, well, what do you like? Open your mouths and make with the word so I can, I can shut mine. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh man, I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh, 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 just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. 
I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe, but she's uh, she's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognised your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was protecting us from Valerie. It's... It's my fault. If she hadn't been trying to keep me safe, they never would have gotten the drop on her. Oh. Are you angry at me? Kinda, yeah. But thanks for telling me. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I mean, I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? But you've already done. Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddies! <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet a wallet man. Fortunately, I had come. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. Valerie was the one holding the knife. I'm just glad she agreed to help when she did. <sighs> Hold me. 
sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kind of glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. But then again, it'd be nice to see some people. Yvette, especially. You'll definitely be missed. The old stomping grounds won't be the same without you. Well, you were the best up there. If anyone can pull this off, you can, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just sorry uh, we're not doing it together. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. Like, jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. I mean, she beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Yeah, of course you did. But, but, you saved my ass. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You think I should try and escape? while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help come off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but sticking around doesn't seem so great either. Hey, we've seen what Pandora does to heroes, so just play hostage until we get back. You're right. Better to play it safe. And we will come back. I know. Well, it's all you from here. Nah, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Bro, knee? Hmm? Just be careful out there, okay? Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you are staying here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Okay, I get it! Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. But you ah! are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah, let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. I need you to go scout out ahead. And you do that? <laughs> That doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at oh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. See? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pizza? Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you uh, clearly haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm. long enough, compadre. Uh, uh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. Uh. 
All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. I highly doubt that. No, no, I'm serious, pal. You want to find the Gordas Beacon on Helios and I want to get off this murder planet, our stars are aligned in a very groovy way. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. That uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo is for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Vasquez wasn't that Yo, me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Well, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Oof, disturbing. Uh, careful now, disturbing, we'll end up psycho disturbing. dinner. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kind of respect this psycho. I always thought I'd drink or sex myself to death, too. Because those really are the two best options. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, Olive! Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho! Duffy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat, metal fuck! Thanks, Dobie. Oh. Yeah, right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's that's classy. Gonna use that little shock around my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a. Huh. Kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the digistruct won't work. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh god, that's so that that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh god, I can't stop now. Oh no 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh bit pinch it off. Just pinch it off. Seriously? Oh please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do that to me. Oh gross. <laughs> Baby's face, crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal. I can fly. Well, once I snatched that face pizza, gross. I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no thousands of psychos chased me. 
Oh, really? That many? So you got them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One. Yeah. Hey! Hey, you made it! And you're not even bleeding! You're awesome! Psycho. With chest bomb. Boom! Did you say bomb psycho? <laughs> Yeah, we <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Hey man, don't think you're not helping with this. How about some plastic gloves? You know, just to uh, keep it sanitary? No? Okay, well let's just all get diseases then. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey. Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. We're talking about when you slapped me. Yeah, I'm talking about the slap with the... Look, I, I had just had that fall and, and, and had this uh, out-of-body experience, and, and I, don't, I don't know why what happened happened, but I, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks, just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah, have fun with that.
just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, oh God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... <laughs> oh, definitely weird. <laughs> well, it's certainly... Big. That scooter for you. I wish Fawn was going with us. Yeah, me too, actually. see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before.
I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I, I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so, I don't, peaceful. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah, I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! The scooters are the right to cash in on this trip. If it weren't for him, we'd still be stuck down on Pandora. And August, what exactly have you done for this mission? That's what I thought. Ah, oh, whatever. Awesome! That seems like a bad idea. Well, no one asked you. Is that a person? Shh. Looks like he's sleeping too. Henderson. Something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it. Um, how critical exactly? Without the additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. So it's real bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are not, cause that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to eleven. Uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Mm. Ah, don't you worry your pretty little. Yeah, all of you there. 
have to go yourself, but I'll be walking you through it though. Fiona, look at me. 
This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! Casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. He truly earned this. It's the least we can do. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserved so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, I'm answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. <laughs> Here we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's your boss, jackass. We'll see about that. Well, I remember. You're the funny one. Well, see how funny I am when you get down here. I know you're excited that I'm back, so I'll let that slide.
get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. Ladies, what you been doing? Talking about boys. Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> Just getting around. And boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandora trash, no less. With half a loader box stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch, uh... Whatever the hell it says. It was a dull satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Hmm. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... on my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Eva, it's so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. You're not even a little sad? I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smart ass you are under questioning. Fine, I'm sure they'll also want to hear about the $10 million you embezzled with your friends. That's right. I've got eyes and ears everywhere. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do. This is far from over. Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. Oh, 
You want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now it runs the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Is that the royal we this time? Uh -huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Is trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what do you hear? You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. About our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. Alright, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. Alright, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. That doesn't look like a tour guide. Nope. Alright, there's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! Can 
Can you believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? That's why I stick to coffee. It hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart? Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that Brie hyperhydrated. idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? Hey, to Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios' newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it. What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Ah, uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, um... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once in a lifetime experience for all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts. Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah! Handsome Jack's father. Defeating, um... What a badass. Cool! Like father, like son, I suppose. The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and awesome. If you feed it, the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um... Uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's 
chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. Guess what? You're banned from tours for life. Y you can't do that. Should have been nicer. I won't stand for this. Tough break, kid. Maybe next time you'll show some respect. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Here, maybe I can just stop. Why? Oh boy, I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is, your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh, it ought to be. I paid good money for this. Sure, go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. <laughs> Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're Goodbye. Your own lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. Ugh. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back. The vent's here. Crap. He said to hold tight. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it. Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason, then you go hacking my computer. What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. What am I doing? What are you doing? Everything in this office is mine now, which technically means you're breaching security. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. 
Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't race? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. You're right. Reese isn't dead. What? I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? Uh, the, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mine here, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. You're impressed, I know. By your itty-bitty friend here? Yeah, right. You and your little floating robotic vacuum thing can both rot in the brig. This is my dude Dumpy, and uh, I'm Reese. Hello? Hello? Ah, looks like you just got dumpy. Too bad there's no assistant vice janitor to clean this up. Fiona, you there? Marie, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the friggin' battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count. Yvette's got nothing to do with this, all right? Just leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. The stress is getting to him. Reese, nobody's talking about Yvette. We need to come up with a plan. Will do. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell ya, you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and, yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Not to burst your bubble or anything, but isn't a trap door just a little cliche? So is saying burst your bubble, what's your point? Uh, that I'm surprised a man of your distinct tastes would have one? It's a time-honored tradition used by generations of Hyperion CEOs. You know, I, I feel like you're mocking my culture. It's just a trap door. Jeez. Uh, it's not just a trap door. It's the centerpiece of your new plan. Uh, you're gonna need to go in the outhole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're, you're, just, you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. 
All right, we do this Pandoran style. This horse down. Grr! I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop why is it bleeding? There's there's blood. Why is there blood? Where did we just fill the strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me. Wait, wait for you there. Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Vasquez? Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead. Thing. You saw nothing, okay? 
okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks, makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I yeah, see one. Right. Hey. hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. What a stupid robot, am I right? Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack Tour. How about you go take a break before I break my butt up in your ass? Leave me now, sir. Get out! Nice job. Gordis, just so you know, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know. You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. By a death machine? No, that's that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. That looks like a plan. Wait, we gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Woo! Glad I got these Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. Hey, Gordis, you, uh, you wanna go first, huh? Yeah? No, thank you! No, well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Huh. Who's hungry? <laughs> oh, God. I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! One! One! You 
you've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. You don't wanna go rogue and throw Vaughn's life away, do you? Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Look, we had to change plans. There were complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak into the scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. Yeah, it's a spirit. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool.
Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordas, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie! So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. I don't know, but cute cowboy hat. Cowgirl. Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, first one before she became a Sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. I wonder what it'll become. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The U shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat. It's all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. What is that? Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go deep. Yeah. <laughs> Belong to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. Oh, this. This shotgun is legend freaking dairy. <laughs> I period named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. <sighs> Life full of helping Hyperion save the galaxy. That gorgeous. So this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. Feels like a goddamn chair. Yeah, yeah, but the buttons next to this chair. Help me make some big changes in this world, you know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is it's a chair with buttons? <sighs> you're killing me. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh! It's you! How are you doing? Technically, we're still in jail. Who is it you're talking to? They told me to stay quiet. Oops! <gasps> Oh, hey! Here she is! 
So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there. They deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we could rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no! You're a psychopath! Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. Sure, sure. Call me kiddo a billion times and laugh at your own jokes. I should have never brought you back. So annoying. Oh, I'm annoying? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying? <laughs> well, you haven't even seen me try to get under your skin yet, kiddo. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really Off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just, Just getting into position. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I can't believe how long I was stuck inside that empty little head of yours. God, it's good to be out. Woo! Well, that shit's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome, goddamn jackass! Give you run to me. Huh? 